Hi everybody, this is a small tutorial on a steel FS-111Z brush cutter. I'm going to show you how to change the blade and put on the string spool. You need to use the tool that came with it. It's like a spark plug tool. Also, I just use one of my chainsaw files. Take the file, stick it right in the hole here, spin it till it locks in. Right there, it locks in. Take your tool, and it goes opposite. It'll be lefty tighty, righty loosey. Assembly comes off, you got your nut, the cup, those I put back in my toolbox, the blade comes off, and then this you use with string spool as well. Now key to putting this back on is lining up, lining up this hole with one of these holes here because it also lines up with the splines in here then. So if you don't get that lined up perfect, this blade will spin around like this once you turn the machine on. You have to get that lined up perfect like this here, nice and tight. This is the string I use steel or 2.7 millimeter or the 0 0.105 put this back on you're going to line up the splines remember the threads are opposite and this is a hand hand tighten only you're going to have to put the file back in here you tighten it just the way we untighten it with the wrench. Just like that, hand tight. Now we're gonna go over and start instructions. I've got my gas topped off. It's an oil gas mixture. Get your primer bulb. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn should choke. And pull the string. I'll go to half choke. Okay, so that's the spool <coughs> empty. Yeah. Use the screwdriver to get it off. Yeah. Okay, so when we're done, we're gonna have one string coming up this way yep. and one coming up this way. Okay. So we want to do this front or the bottom chamber first. Okay. Okay. So then we take the, this is where we take it. the wire cutters here and just kind of get it right back round mm -hmm. to its shape. And then there, there are two holes. I typically only use one. I didn't use that one. This one's a little more rounded out. It goes in it, on an angle and type it just, thing. just goes in maybe, yeah. I don't know, but not even a quarter inch. Okay. And then there's an arrow here, line. Ah. That's the way you go. So you, you push it in and then you go back against itself. How full do you fill this? Just screw? till it just till it basically gets okay. to the top of that middle line <coughs> there's no you can kind of layer it back right. and forth but right. it it does just kind of go where it wants to yeah, and then a couple more turns here okay. you I, honestly when I, when one side goes out i bet you i have most of the time i have less than two feet left on the other so okay. it's very accurate okay as far as just getting it flush with here right 
Okay, so now that's where I've locked it in. Yeah. And then I'll just cut off maybe about 10 inches. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's done there. So I'm gonna have to round that off. Yeah. Again, again find that thread it in there. Find that yep. hole. Yep. About a quarter inch. And then wrap itself all the arrows. over. So now if you would have done this one first and then you lock this string in, mm -hmm. it'd be it'd be coming right across mm -hmm. your bottom chamber. You count the wraps ever or not? You really? could. Okay. You could. I, I don't. I don't know if it's really worth it. Okay, so I'll come around here to this side. Lock that. Oh, in. okay. So it locks both at the same. Yep. I see it. Oops. I just take that. Um, these are different size holes here. Lock that back on. That's done. And then, oh, this one came off. Okay, so now they're locked in. So mm -hmm. we'll put it in the, the trimmer now. Okay, so those are the two tabs that they line up like that. You push the tab yeah. in and then that ring falls out. And then you can just put this so these strings are going to have to line up with these two, okay. two notches here. They're interchangeable. So you're going to want to, like, you push it up and then kind of, it's, it's a little tricky because mm -hmm. it doesn't, it doesn't really lock in. Right. So you're going to put in one side, yep. keep pressure on the spool, lock that in, and then find the tab and then there it is just right keep there. pressure on the center of yep. the spool just lock it in and now it's 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 locked in right. so you can push on it and it feeds up and that's it